Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, things about AMC and Abe. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the reason for why AMC dropped today, such as ladder attacks and more, and how firms are still able to hold on to their shorts even whilst losing money, and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC. So AMC dropped down 15.02%. And yes, we did see a rejection of that 556 and 547 zone. And like I always talk about, when we see a rejection, we're obviously going to see the tanks at the price fall. That's exactly what we saw, but it fell 15% with volume today. Now, the price did fall today, but I do think that it was largely to do with fundamental reasons than it was with technical reasons. And I want to get further onto that later on in this video. But when we look at the understanding of the technical analysis now, we've broken below that support of 518 and 505. Our next area of support is really coming in at 422 and 416. Bear in mind the last time we did get a reversal of AMC was of course on this particular candle right here, where we saw, and this is when we knew AMC was going to have a reversal as well on the 14th of February. So the low of 4. 39 and again that's pretty much we dropped to the lower 436 and we saw buyers coming in so we are of course paying close attention but for me personally something with more volume was of course coming in at 422 and i did say if we were to see the price fall it was very likely to of course continue seeing price um drop just because of how far the supports are away from each other now like i said most of the reason for why the price today was because of fundamental reasons and the methods they used to, of course, drop the price. If we take a look at Ape, so Ape today, only down 5.2%, so it's very small in comparison to AMC. But when you see the price move from today, firstly, the volume was extremely, extremely high today. This volume has been, you know, very high in comparison for the last few months, in fact. And the last time you can look at this was when we had gaps up for Ape. And it was, again, testing the two zones. So what we saw here today was more bias coming in as we broke ab above the 203 and the 194. But then we saw the price reject and fall. So the price hit the 154 and 140 gate. Again, you guys can see, you know, this is why I'm talking about the importance of technical analysis. Whilst it is fundamentally moved, that these support zones are still coming in very handy. So we did see the price go to that 154 and 148, but we didn't break below it. So really what it shows right now is that buyers are very strong, but it depends on a lot of factors and that's what we'll be getting on with. So this is the important news today, and I think this is the biggest reason for why AMC dropped today. Now, what we have is from Adam Aram, who obviously talks about the vote. So today was a huge st step towards for AMC. You voted yes, yes, and yes, and it was a landslide vote too. 88% yes for Proposal 1, 87% yes for Proposal 2, and 87% yes for Proposal 3. My sincerest thanks for giving AMC the tools we need to continue fighting the good fighting on your behalf. So obviously we know now all three proposals got yeses. That means it is good to go. However, what we have to wait for is of course until a further day. As we can see down here, what Adam Aaron said is, saving AMC is my professional mission and remember that I own millions of AMC shares and eight units too. So I very much want that for AMC to succeed. I am absolutely and passionately convinced that what you approve today is in the best interest of AMC and all of our shareholders. So what happens now, we cannot implement what you approve today under, until the litigation in Delaware courts is resolved. The next court hearing on this matter is set for April 27, 2023. We'll update stockholders when we have additional information. So what it is, is of course that this is good to go. However, we have to wait for the court hearing on April the 27th. If that is also okay, then everything will be underway. So that is basically getting a yes on the share proposal now when we look at this and we see the price drop so when you look at the price drop today yes it's fundamentally driven but again you guys can see how firms are scared of this if the proposal for us 88 yes 87 percent um you know 88 percent pretty much for proposal one two and three it means the large majority of stakeholders are okay with this so when they see that the answer was yes why will people then start selling that is of course not the case that is of course done by firms because we know the majority of people who like we see from the percentage voted yes are of course okay with amc doing this and want to see amc doing this so now seeing amc actually able to go along with this why would they all of a sudden sell so when you look at what peter hunt said so think about this for the last two weeks the trolls were quiet and we didn't see any substantial ladder attacks saving it all for today sad ha huh. and that's exactly what happened we saw a ladder attack on amc today and we saw we are seeing the price manipulation again happening for amc 
Now, in my opinion, I think what they're trying to give off is that the vote went through, so it's going to be the quote unquote end of the world for AMC. But when we look at this and really understand it, and I think this is very simple to understand, is that the majority of people want this to happen, hence why we got 88% yes. 87% yes and 87% yes. So if the majority of people want this to happen and then they see that it's going to happen, why would they fear AMC and why would they all of a sudden sell AMC? That's completely not the case. And so this is, of course, in my opinion, the fundamental attacks happening right now where they see AMC, just like Adam Aaron said, that this is the tools they need to continue fight. And so firms acknowledge this as well. Hence why they're trying to attack AMC right now. Hence they're trying to create fear for AMC. You know, another thing to be looking at is for why would the price drop even though we are cleared off of the threshold list? So AMC has stayed on the threshold list for 37 calendar days or 26 settlement days. It disappeared on the 14th calendar day, one day before the vote on the reverse split conversion with no justifying price action, just like happened on the 43 million plus FTDs in ape. Don't worry, no, manipula no manipulation in AMC. Now, again, AMC yesterday was supposedly cleared off the threshold list, meaning that people bought, of course, and cleared off of the FTDs. But we didn't see any volume coming in, we didn't see any price action coming in. So now we already know off the bat that it was not cleared off of the FTD list legitly. Yes, it may be off the FTD list, but the way they got it off was not through the legitimate reason of actually buying shares and covering these FTDs because we would see it from the volume. We would see it from the price, obviously reflecting that by the price going up as people buy shares and cover the shorts. But that's not completely not what we saw. They also cleared this a day before the vote. Now, it seemingly looked like that they believed the vote was also going to be yes, hence why they cleared it. Because again, like we said, this is the tool needed to fight for the good of our behalf. And also, again, why would they clear it all of a sudden and why would they do ladder attacks if they weren't scared? So, you know, they're trying to clear the FTDs, they're trying to manipulate AMC, all because the vote went through, at least in my opinion. And again, this just proves how powerful it is. And so when we see the price drop today, yes, technical analysis does play a hand well as we see rejection on the resistance as we saw the break, the collapse of the support. But when you put things all into pieces, it all adds up to why they, of course, are trying to drop AMC and trying to create that panic for AMC. Something else to be looking at is how firms are still able to hold on to their shorts even whilst losing money. So this is from, from Hang Loose who talked about, it just dawned on me and it actually makes so much sense. This seems how they're staying solvent against their massive short positions and kicking the can. Essentially, what we're looking at is, look through the thread at all the securities sold not yet purchased. What's happening is that they're collecting money for naked shorts and not buying the assets to satisfy the trade. Even though they have tons of that cash, they're massively over leveraged in short positions. So what they're doing is using that cash to loan to the Fed so they can collect the interest fees to pay for the interest fees they are occurring on the short positions. This is how margin calls are being avoided. The Fed is paying the tab for them every day via the reverse repo. That's why it's been in the trillions for over a year. Notice the reverse repo didn't really start until shortly after the 28th of January, 2021. And that of course is when all this phenomenon for the short positions happened with GME with AMC. And so this is how firms right now are finding ways to be of course staying in their short position despite the massive cost for these short positions from either their loss or as we know how high the cost of borrow is because of the fact that they are basically getting like Hang Lu said daily micro bailouts for all the counterparties and it's happening right in front of us and so this is the way they're doing and this is of course very bad because whilst yes they can continue doing this and it seemingly look like it's worked for them once all of this stacks up once the money gets to a point where they can no longer do it it will just all crumble and the more they stack up now, the bigger it will backlash against them. And so again, for those people who wonder well, how are they still able to do so, this is one of the ways, or if not, the best way for them to, of course, be continue holding on to these short positions. Now, then what we want to what I want to talk about first is the AMC holds. And I think that this was uh, quite interesting. So it's the next time AMC holds, watch level two and the trading that occurs during the hold. They're still doing it. I've seen it being traded during the hold. Why do you think that they're holding in the first place? They manipulate the price to bring it down. Look at the time it ran to $34. And so this is something we have talked about in the past before. And that's what I talk about for AMC. These hold zones are extremely scary because when we see AMC reach up to all of these zones and that they get halted down, 
we know that the reason why it gets halted isn't to protect the retail traders because the retail traders are all in this for the price to go up, but rather to protect the short sellers. And whilst during the time of the hold, they're obviously readjusting positions, readjusting different prices and having firms actually loan shares for them at lower prices. And so that's exactly what happening when AMC gets halted. And those of you can pay close attention to it next time. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.